in our special report, Silent Centennial. Michael Jordan was the only Savannah-based reporter, yes, aboard the ship for that outing just prior to the launching ceremony. And Michael, the Georgia looks the very same as it did before on the outside, but right. inside. There are some changes. A very big change, Tina. Those changes involve what's happened in the way the sub launches missiles. The Georgia used to be an SSBN, a sub built to launch nuclear missiles at Russia. But now it's been reconfigured as an SSGN, packing dozens of conventional Tomahawk cruise missiles for the war on terror. But as I learned aboard the ship, the Georgia's officers and crew have other new missions as well. We met up with the USS Georgia several miles offshore around Cumberland Island in Kings Bay. The 560-foot-long sub cast a surprisingly sleek profile, slicing silently through the waves as dolphins jump out of the water just ahead of the ship. But this graceful warship is not in its element until the hatches are sealed and a deep dive begins. Dive! Dive! As we held on, the Georgia's crew took the ship down below 600 feet, making it tilt more than 25 degrees from bow to stern as we dove towards the seafloor. Stand by. 550. Five it's a maneuver the crew practices regularly so they can move nimbly during combat if necessary. More than 150 officers and crew are crowded into the Georgia's tight living spaces, where they share a handful of toilets and showers and take their meals in a common room for months at a time. In these aspects, life hasn't changed much since the more than two decades the Georgia spent cruising the world's oceans as part of America's nuclear deterrent strategy. But now the sub's 24 intercontinental ballistic missile tubes have been altered to house up to 154 Tomahawk land attack missiles, the same missiles the U.S. military rained down on Iraq and Afghanistan. This video shows the first Tomahawk launch from the Georgia's sister ship, USS Florida, last year. One of the USS Georgia can cover half of the cruise missile strikes we did in the entire uh, last two Gulf Wars. But equally promising, say Navy officials, is the sub's new ability to carry more than 60 Navy SEALs or other special operations forces. Using new lockout chambers and special mini-subs that can be attached to the top of the Georgia, the SEALs will be able to strike silently deep behind enemy lines. Uh, primary thing it gives is, is a ability to rapidly respond without uh, forward presence. Uh, you know, we can if we have an area where we perhaps we want to not have an overt presence, but we still want to make a uh, have the ability to make a, a, a strike, then that's definitely a, a capability SSGN would bring. Well, the Georgia is the last of four of the big Ohio class subs to be converted to the new SSGN platform. Those four ships will be split between Guam and the Pacific and Diego Garcia and the Indian Ocean as their forward operating bases, but the crews will still be home-based in Kings Bay and their sister base on the West Coast. So it's an exciting change for the Navy and one that, that is really coming home to our area. Yeah, what an experience that must have been for you. To yeah, be it was a lot of fun. Too. And I was on the Nebraska years ago before they made these transitions. So to see the before and after is pretty cool. Now, why were the subs converted? Well, it started with the SALT treaty that we had with Russia that required us to cut back on the number of missiles. And these ships were going to be scrapped, but Jack Kingston and some boosters in Kings Bay went to President Bush when he made his first speech here at Fort Stewart back in 2000 and got these subs saved and converted to this new use. Wow, interesting. Yeah, now check this out. This is a, uh, this is not a shot glass. <laughs> this is a, uh, a styrofoam cup, and here's a normal cup. This, uh, this cup used to look like this one. This is what happens when you take a styrofoam cup and leave it outside the sub at 650 mm -hmm. feet. So that shows you the extreme pressures where all the air has been squeezed out of that that these subs have to operate under. Gives you more respect for what they do. Yeah. Yes. Well, you came back all right. Yeah, I stayed inside the sub. <laughs> Thanks for sharing, Thanks, Michael. Guys.